In Mastercam 2023, there's been some improvements in making Zip2Go packages to send to the support or post department. When we go to File Zip2Go, we'll notice that we're given a different set of options to choose from. So here we're going to create. And what we can do here is if we double click on this, it'll select none. If we click on it once, it'll select all. And we can deselect things as we choose. So in this case, I'm just going to select everything. And then here's a list of everything that we're going to have inside of this Zip2Go. So the most important part, obviously, is to make sure that your Mastercam part is there. And then these are all the other file types that are going to be carried along with it. When we click Next, we're going to be given the option to add extra files as well. So in this case, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Add Files. I'm going to head to my desktop and I'm going to add this picture as well. So now if I look at the bottom, that picture has been added into the Zip2Go support files is where it's going to be saved. So I'll click Finish. And then I'm given a few more options here when I go to save the file type as. So I can either save it as a content file, a zip file, or a zip2go. So in this case, I'm just going to send it, save it as a simple zip file. I'm going to drop that on my desktop as well. So let's say I forgot something that I really wanted to send in with that file. I don't need to go through the whole process again. What I can do is just add a specific file to it. So when I go to zip2go here, I can actually edit the zip file that I just created. So I'll select the file that I want to edit and it'll bring me right back to this manage file screen. So I wanted to add a reference document, which is going to be just a solid part that they can reference. So I'm going to say open and that's going to be added to my list as well. Finish. And then we're just going to save over the existing file. Now, when it comes to opening these files, if I get them back or someone sends them to me, I will go again to File, zip to go and then we're going to go to the Extract section. So this would be bringing those files back in. I'm going to select the file that I want to extract. And then in here, I want to give it a folder name. So I could either send that to my root folder or I could send it to just a simple folder on my desktop. So in this case, I'm going to go to my desktop and I'm going to make a new folder. I'm going to call this my zip return folder. And I'm going to say OK. So it's going to go in here and then I can choose all the files. I can override the existing files if there's already files in that folder or I can select files. So in this case, if all I really need out of here is going to be my actual part file and then my two reference files that I added in. I can simply select those files only, click finish, and then now when I go and bring that over in my zip return folder, I'm going to have my Mastercam, my support files, I'm going to have under my name file where this originated from. And then again, under my name, from the original root where that file came from, I'll have my part file.